All right, we are here at the Snowflake Summit and uh, I am with a Ariel, who's the head of product marketing. Super excited to be here. I'm uh, excited to chat about what's happening at Rivery. Uh, it's day three, I've seen so many people around here and finally I'm getting a chance to chat with you, Ariel. So super excited about it. For our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about uh, what Rivery does and what do you do at Rivery? Sounds good. Hi, everyone. Thank you, uh, Ravit. Really happy to have you as, uh, with us here. It's, uh, it's been an amazing summit. We've seen some amazing innovations presented throughout the summit. Right. Uh, and we're super excited to launch our uh, Rivery Bloomprint as well. Um, my role at Rivery is uh, head of product marketing. I help uh, our customers understand what Rivery can do for them. So yeah. that's my role. That's pretty awesome. And uh, also, I'm kind of curious about uh, what problem does Rivery solve? Because I know... Uh, everything about Rivery, but then I want it for my audience to know more. 100%, 100%. So we help everyone bring their data in the fastest and most simplest way into their uh, data right. warehouses. Obviously, Snowflake being one of our most common uh, targets uh, that we bring data into. Uh, we, uh, we do it in a very simple way. It could be either no code or low code. Companies can easily unify their data infrastructure using Rivery. It could be data engineer, it could be data analysts that don't have data engineers on the team. Right. And then with uh, a few simple clicks, they bring the data. And then once in Snowflake, they can easily transform it orchestrate, even do build, even build reverse TL processes back into a business applications. How does the blueprint work? The Rivery blueprint? I'm kind of excited about that because I've been hearing about it and uh, I know for a fact where, uh, you know, I spoke to a lot of people at Rivery. So I'm kind of curious to know from you what it, what it does. Yeah, blueprint is our latest innovation. We're really excited about it. Um, so you've seen a lot of AI announcements uh, happening throughout the summit. Uh, right. So this is ours. Uh, River Blueprint essentially simplifies not only the ability to bring data with no code, right. but actually through a, a chat GPT-like experience uh, into a Snowflake warehouse or yeah. into any other target. Um, the way it works is if you're trying to integrate with a certain data source that we don't have out of the box today, yeah. what you can simply do is type a prompt, for example, a help me connect to a uh, HubSpot, for example. Obviously, HubSpot is an existing connector, but yeah. if we didn't have it, Blueprint will go in, ingest the data uh, for you, and then you'll just be able to uh, keep uh, your process from there. Okay, just a follow-up question on the Blueprint itself. So how does Rivery Blueprint uh, deploy GenAI to help data engineers seeking to unify data pipelines? And is, or is there more to it? Yeah, so what we see is that Gen AI is, is now essentially demanding a lot of new data sources that we didn't see in the past. Right. Um, to really leverage Gen AI and, and to make it accurate, you want to make sure you have the contextual data to, to build those applications in, in a way that actually provides reliable results. And so that reliability comes with bringing data sources that we didn't ingest today. It's like unstructured data and other sources that we didn't have connectors for. So Blueprint is actually helping you accelerate that connectivity to those data sources, bring that into your, uh, into your Gen AI applications, and then unify that so you don't have to have part of your pipelines coded in other tools, and then a, a part of the pipelines a, uh, in Rivery, you can do it all in one platform. Okay, that's pretty good insight. So, uh, do you have any use cases already? Or it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just, you know, just got into the game. I mean, uh, do you want to share any use cases or how customers can use it? Yeah, so we actually have about more than half of our customers today creating custom, custom connections okay. with Rivery yeah. using what's called Action Rivers. That's a yeah. built-in KB that we have already today in Rivery. And what we're doing now with Blueprint, we're essentially accelerating that even further. So mm. Action Rivers had to still be configured. It was a low-code configuration environment. With Blueprint, we completely automate that using a generated AI experience, prompt-like nice. experience. And so this is taking it to the next level. Um, and yeah, we're excited to see what customers can do with it. It's like boosting up the customers, uh, you know, obviously the usage as well. Like, uh, they can now do much more in, you know, they can, uh, they can just use Rivery. So, which is fantastic. Uh, a quick question. So, how do you see the solutions uh, in the data world, and how how can you differentiate like Rivery out of those? Like maybe the similar type of solutions that you've seen. How do you differentiate Rivery out of it? Yeah, and it can be confusing. Lots of vendors on the market. They all seem to be doing similar things at times. Yeah. Uh, I think at the end of the day, it's about giving you a tool that is at once simple to use, uh, but at the same time flexible enough so it can meet your use cases and you don't find yourself kind of running 80% of the simplicity, but then kind of getting stuck with the rest of the 20% of, yeah. of your needs. So River really combines the two together. And we give you the ingestion, we give you transformation, orchestration, right. and then even the uh, reverse ETL, all that with a very strong data ops layer. Yeah. And now with Blueprint, it's going to go to the next level. It's simplifying it even further. And it's, uh, it's not just about ingesting sources. We'll be also be able to do much more of that 
Uh, we're actually launching it officially on June 25th. We have a, uh, a live nice. webinar where uh, we'll be showing some of those uh, capabilities and the future blueprint. Nice. Um, so wow. uh, happy to uh, invite you and, and uh, all the listeners Would to, love to. Yeah. Uh, to join our webinar. You'll be able to see what Blueprint actually represents beyond just the ingestion. This will be super exciting. I'll definitely, uh, if you all have a link, I'll, I would love to share it with our audience as well and how they can see. So there'll be a lot of demoing, talking that will be happening. 100%. Demos, customer stories. Uh, oh, wow. Our product team will be showcasing what that can be done. Uh, what can, Blueprint can be do for, can be uh, sorry. Yeah. What Blueprint can do for them, yeah. as well as uh, other capabilities that we're announcing as well. Um, yeah, head up to Rivery.io. You can sign up today, and uh, we're looking forward to see you there. That's awesome. Thanks for uh, sharing those details. One last question for our audience: uh, If they want to reach out to you, if they want to learn more about Rivery, uh, if they want to re uh, look at the white papers, ebooks, where can they do that? Rivery.io, it's all there. Okay, um, awesome. So our website, uh, that's uh, the best source of information. Right. Uh, of course, we're uh, super accessible. Um, we try to keep as close as we can to our customers. So feel free to reach out. Um, you can do it directly from our console. You can start a free trial and, and ask us questions there. Or you can reach us uh, on the website. Thank you very much. Uh, it was such a pleasure chatting with you, Ariel, today. And I'm definitely looking forward to learning more about the Blueprint. Uh, but uh, uh, as I can see, there are people waiting for you guys to do the demo. So uh, I'll let them uh, go and check out uh, Rivery. But uh, again, once uh, you know, it was such a pleasure hosting you on the Robert Show. Likewise. Thanks for coming. Thank you.